Currently nursing lions, leopards and even vultures in the hit Sunday night drama Wilder Hearts. And I'm so jealous. He's interrupted rehearsals for his new play, Charlie's and to be here. Will you please welcome Mr Stephen Tompkinson? Let's hear you. <laughs> I don't know what's up at me, Steve. Do you want a head scarf? I thought you were going to give me some white heather or something. No, I'm having a real ear. It shot up like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're here. You're doing a play. Yes, absolutely. Charlie's aunt, which is the sort of granddaddy of all British farces. Uh, as, a, as an antidote to uh, roaming the South African plains, I'm putting on a woman's frock and running up and down out of French windows. <laughs> and oh, yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a midlife <laughs> crisis. It's a cry for help. <laughs> it's a strange old life you have, isn't it? it? One is, minute you're really. there with vultures, next yeah. thing you're like dragged up as Lucia. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Are you enjoy Is this the first time you've ever done a, a drag part? Since, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I once played uh, Dame in Panto at school, and uh, I've done a one fast before at drama school. So this is this is the first time yeah. I've done. I'd read Charlie's Aunt before. Yeah. And most people, when you say Charlie's Aunt, they always come up with the, the line, oh from Brazil, where the nuts come from. But very few people have seen it. So it's a, it's a great chance. Ray you know, Bolger did it, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, everyone's yeah. had a go. Arthur Askey was doing it yeah. till he, he was still in his 60s. Oh, and Danny LaRue's... Oh, I remember go. Danny doing yeah. it on the telly. Came over. Think, ha, ha, yeah. very he had glam. about 12 costume changes, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Despite, uh, you know, the, the, the gag being that the, the guy gets to impersonate this other fella's aunt so that these, these two chaps at uh, Oxford University, they, they need a chaperone so they can get to, uh, to court the girls of their dreams. So they impress upon their, their other friend, Fancourt Babbley. That's it, yeah. That's, yeah, to, uh, to be Charlie's aunt. Uh, but apart from putting on the dress, he makes no attempt at female impersonation There's no slap at any there, is there? You know, so the audience are let in on the secret, and then you, you get the voyeurism of seeing how it all turns out, cos all the other characters buy into it straight away, and it's are you, great. Are you, have you started it, or are you still rehearsing? Yeah, we're, we're still rehearsing, and we open on Tuesday in Bath, and it's then very we're, posh. we're all round the country for yeah. the next 16 weeks. It's nice Bath, isn't it? I'm oh, glad you lovely. said Bath. Oh, yes. Cos a lot of people say Bath. 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 I can't say Bath. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I Bath. Don't know what they mean. Yeah, Bath. Yeah. Bath. It's a lovely theatre, that. And it is beautiful. You can get married on the stage there. They've got a licence. Oh, so if, if there's a law... Is that wall, a proposition? Well, you never know. <laughs> Stay. Never know. After all these years. It's the headscarf that did it. It's the headscarf. It was. Oh, just well, I've got me little bottom draw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's directing this? It's somebody very famous. Oh, isn't Mel Smith. Well, he knows uh, his which is, He certainly does, and he's, uh, he's played the part before, cos... Uh, Griff Reese jones was uh, doing a run of it and got ill, so Mel had to step into the breach. So it's, it's really helpful because farces are more sort of mathematical exercise yeah. than anything. Yeah. It's a case of light the blue touch paper and retire and see like what farce, goes up. Oh, it's, it's wonderful, and it's such a, a shared experience yeah. for those on stage and in the auditorium, and we've got a terrific cast, and we're having a ball with Have it. Have you got a nice frock? That's the first oh, thing I'd say. It's huge. Yeah. I look like one of those... Um, <laughs> Sort of souvenir toilet roll <laughs> holders that you get in Spain. <laughs> so getting in and out of doors is a bit tricky, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we're having great fun. <laughs> now Amanda Holden was on the show and she was telling me about I was green with jealousy. Yeah. She was telling me about oh, you jungle. You'd absolutely love it. I mean, we feel so privileged to be out there with these gorgeous creatures in the environment where they're supposed to be, and it's uh, I never tire of it. I it's bet you it's don't. just gorgeous. Yeah. And they locked you in a cage with a lion, didn't they? Yes. Um, <laughs> I was trying to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, a few hairy moments. Uh, they, they wanted to get, you know, the, the camera was behind me and wanted to get an over-shoulder shot where you could see this line coming towards us. And there was, like, a safety line. We were, we were in a cage with a piece that folded outwards right. with a string being able to pull up in case he got too close, which he did, cos a bit of meat fell through the meshing going that way, and he let him put his paws on that. Mm. And his, his muzzle was on this wire, frustrated that he couldn't get to this meat. And, of course, we couldn't pull the thing up now because his paws were on top. <laughs> and he's just looking at me as the, <laughs> the next freshest alternative. And we're all, should, I, think we, yeah, I think we should now. But we managed to get it. 
And vultures as well, you've been... Vultures... What are they like? Yeah, they're, they're lovely. I mean, the, the, the one that we had was... You're the only person I've ever heard say they're lovely. They <laughs> are. They are. They've all got... I mean, the hyenas are beautiful as well when you get up close. I'm yeah. just fascinated yeah. by them. Um, and the, the vulture that we, uh, that we use was hand-reared hand by uh, the vet who advises us, Paul Bartels, from an egg. It was rejected oh, really? in the nest, and he rehydrated it and hand-reared it. Wouldn't you love a pet vulture? Oh, not ah. Just sat there yeah. on the end of your desk. My, <laughs> my pet. <laughs> We're my pets. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, when, oh. the, when the rent man comes to call. <laughs> Open the door, can yeah. I help you? The vulture on your shoulder. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, is it six months you're out there? Yeah, it was, it was five and a half months this time. Oh, how fabulous. Um, but it was, as I say, the animals are great. And then when we get halfway through the series, we've got Hayley Mills joining us, which is fantastic. Flame trees of Thika. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she's very naughty, and we giggle like school is kids she? all the way through. Yeah, she's terrific fun. Oh, I'd love to meet Hayley Mills. Yeah. Really oh, you, would. you you wouldn't want to come home if you came out there. I'd like a job out You'd there. You'd be my guest any time. Oh, honestly. please. Now, what's happening this week? Any idea? Because I know you've... I mean, you've yeah, the, uh, <coughs> the, the Trevanian family who've come to the farm, uh, which is owned by Mr Duplessis, the resident grumpy old South African yeah. character, um, a lad turns up on the estate claiming to be his son. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. That's quite yeah. popular, that, isn't it? Long yeah. lost sons, yes, long exactly. lost grannies and all this yeah. business. Should we have a little look? Go Bert, on, then. Leave it alone and put the tape in. Thank <laughs> you. So, where's Mum now? Oh, probably somewhere over the Sahara on a second gin and tonic. Didn't the pill work? No, I'm afraid it didn't. Do you have another pill? Yeah, I'll try him with one more. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to give him an enema. What's an enema? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we built everything from scratch. It's on the game museum. Yeah. Yeah. It's just beautiful. But that pig, he's lovely. That little pig. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Are these all stage school animals? You know what I mean? Are they like? Are they well, they I mean, you know, they they don't stop at the end of a take and go. Was was that all right? <laughs> so, you know, like, Buster it, does. It takes it takes. I know it. It takes some getting used to for the directors who you know are used to people hitting their marks and all that. Yeah. And, yeah. But the you know the elephant she. She'll give you a couple of takes and then wraps herself. She just disappears. So we're, oh, we're very fortunate with the footage that we get. And have they built this big studio out there in the they, bush? They built the yeah. house from uh, scratch in about nine weeks. It, it's on a, a farm called Glen Afrique that yeah. uh, takes lots of strays in. And, th and it's, it's just oh. a magical place to be. Just do, do, do. Yeah, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, I'd never come home. I'd be out there in me pith helmets oh, and my yeah. boots and me thing. Now, with the graft, I read the grafters are coming back. Oh, I'd love that. I mean, R Robson and I, uh, we got on so well that we're, you know, we're like a pair of brothers anyway. Yeah. So, and, and because they are related, you could pick that story up any time. Yeah. So we'd, yeah. well, we'd be it. really keen yeah. to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, it's great to see you. I'd, I'd love, love to see you. Good here. luck with Charlie's hands. Thank you very Ladies much. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it for Steve Tompkins. Come on. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I do, I always sulk when I've seen that, you know. <laughs> Come on, can I have a job like that? You bet. All right, then. Don't forget, one of you watching right now will win a brand new mini one. Ooh.